is your boy Sissel here, bringing us yet another Photoshop tour here today. Bring us a cool little tropical uh, style advertisement design here today. So as you can see, I got my G Fuel pineapple little advertisement thing going on here. So um, if you guys know what G Fuel is, it's kind of like a gamer's kind of drink or whatever. Um, so yeah, I wanted to do something like I see people do this kind of stuff. And I'm like, I want to give my try at it. So I thought, let's just do it right here. So uh, yeah, as you can see here, it has a pretty dope color correction on it and a really nice. Um, I think what really makes my like the design look really dope is like uh, the color correction and then like little simple little texture that I have on it as well. And of course, like the simple color scheme with like this green on yellow looks pretty damn good, which is the same green that I just got from this. Uh, this little leaf here and um yeah it might look a little more complicated than it actually is because this is actually really really easy to do um it's just a really dope composition i love how it came out i did end up using like my glow tear effect going on here uh, as you can see right here and all the stocks that i use are going to be right here as well so if you guys want them please go check the description down below right now i should have a psd of this exact same uh file here and then you guys can basically get all the same stocks that i use however two likes on the video equals a secret down below which will most likely be the psd of this video which is this right here and what's inside this group um so yeah i i'm a pretty big fan of this i really love how this actually came out and uh we're gonna get like really quickly into it so really quickly as well though the yellow that i started this off with or orange whatever the hell color you want to say this is uh, because it's kind of like in the middle, but um, it's uh, EAD748, that is the hex code, if you type that in right here, you press OK, and you pretty much just press Alt Backspace when you have your form code selected, um, you're good to go, you can actually get the same exact code that I have, and I also have a really simple gradient thing going on here, it's not really a gradient, it's more like a simple white brush, so what I did was, I used my brush, I'm just going to show you guys really quickly, because this is like the simple setup, and I used a foreground white, and I went ahead and just kind of like, literally did something like that, I put like a little diagonal in the middle, uh, change my blend mode from normal to overlay and about I put I put my opacity to about 70 and that's literally what I have there like literally okay so that's too not, nothing too hard for you to go for now my dimensions by the way are completely like just uh, for example use only because I didn't actually make like a, an actual poster design um, dimension it's just a very odd like dimension that just works for me and I just want to resemble a poster so whatever your dimension has to be make sure that's your dimensions and like cool stuff and you have your your ruler set up and stuff like that because all my stuff is centered pretty well and uh, yeah, well, like I said, now we're going to get right into this. Now, this is kind of a little off. I couldn't find the best pictures in the universe. However, they worked and they didn't look as bad as I thought. So <laughs> literally is why I kept them. Um, but some of these things I did edit in the actual PSD, but didn't edit in my little stock folder thing here. So I'm just going to fix the little things. And then pretty much once you get your product, which for my case is going to be a G Fuel pineapple tub, I'm going to throw this in here and we're going to make sure we get this. Uh, it's not completely centered, by the way. My actual design was not centered in the middle, middle. Like, it wasn't like here. I wanted space for some text. I wanted space for some little edits. So I put it a little further down than usual. So uh, I have it, like, around this spot. And uh, what I'm going to actually start off with first is going to be um, a very simple rectangle that's going to go on the top, and it's going to be our text box. And I want to get this space uh, covered now, so that way, uh, when I end up actually doing the rest of the design, I know where I want things and how I want things, and pretty much... This is how I'm gonna have it. So I'm gonna have a nice little, it's kinda of like a little, um, whatchamacallit, like a little stripe going through. So that's what I have here. And really quickly now, I'm just gonna kinda of just guess what green I'm gonna be using. Cause I am, like I said, gonna be using the same green as the, uh, my little pineapple top leaves, something like that I called it. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna set up a green for now and just call it a day. Now, however, we're gonna actually make another rectangle below this rectangle. And we're gonna go ahead and make a, sh like a skinnier one. And we're going to do something like this. And it's kind of like a little band thing. There we go. Okay, and we're just going to change this to like gray. And of course, we're going to fix these colors a little later. But for now, you just want to have this stuff set up. Now also, <clears throat> we're going to go ahead and type in pineapple. Uh-huh. Pineapple pen. Okay. Uh, why was that playing in my head just now? All right. Boom. We're just going to kind of like guess it. But I'm going to bring it pretty close to this so I can actually kind of guess a little more correctly than just like completely guessing. So that's pretty good, right? Oh, all you OCD people are gonna flip shit. Okay, let's just, can we all agree that that is pretty good right there? Let's all satisfy our needs right there, pineapple. And as well, I'm gonna take my G Fuel logo over here. <clears throat> and we're gonna get this going. We're gonna go ahead and, uh, hello, erase. What's going on here? Oh. There we go. All right, we're gonna erase that little R there, just because, there we go. And also, let's just make sure that there's no black lines around this kind of thing going on here. Boom, oops, expand. One, 
delete. Now we're good to so just bring this right in. And we're just gonna bring it in here and toss it there. Because of course, as you like know, you probably should know by now, is like when you do advertising designing and stuff, you wanna have at least something close. Like you you everyone knows that this is G Fuel Gamma Labs. Uh, and then like, you know, you, you understand what the product is. However, if you don't have the logo anywhere, that's a pretty big fault. So just have the logo somewhere. For my example, I'm going to have it top left above the text that says pineapple here. And we're going to call this a day right there. So right now, just have my text like set up. Okay. I don't want it too, too much going on. Uh, okay. I think that's pretty good. So basically I have my text set up here the same way I have it as uh, over there as well. And yeah, we're gonna call that perfect, okay? Now everything looks really, really, you know, weird right now, but we're gonna get this going and we're gonna start off with actually using this pretty big pineapple here. Um, like I said, I didn't cut out with a pen tool even for these stocks. However, I am gonna fix a couple stocks that literally need help. Um, but please make sure whatever you do, whatever you get your stuff, um, I got my stocks by typing in pineapple for like this. I got pineapple slices for the slices and then like cut pineapple is what I literally typed in in Google. And I made sure I took, I, I took my settings. Um, I made sure I searched it by a, a bigger file, so that way I can get pretty bigger, uh, pretty big pictures. That way the the quality is better. So yeah, make sure you guys do that as well. So for now, I'm gonna take my little pineapple here, and we're gonna call this big pine, and we're gonna take this below our tub. We're gonna call this tub, right? I'm gonna take this below our tub. That way it's behind it, and we're gonna make sure it's a lot higher as well, as in like a lot, a little higher than um this actual tub here, because that actually, if you guys don't know how perspective and stuff works. Uh, the further back something is, that's something, like, let's say this is our frontal perspective of this tub, and I want to make sure this pine looks like it's behind it, just make sure it's higher, and that gives you the kind of illusion when you put, uh, put a, a drop shadow as well below the pineapple in the tub, it'll give the illusion that the pineapple is actually behind the tub, so that's you guys want. Um, I also want to make sure that I actually have this stuff above this, because I'm going to have my pineapple, like, turn like that, and we're going to have this, like, Something like this. Okay. Right? And I'm gonna also I'm gonna kinda of, I'm just kinda of floating around with how I want uh where I want the actual stuff to sit. I'm gonna put that above that. And then G Fuel, this is the G Fuel, right? I'm guessing. We'll go above this as well. Okay. Now that's pretty good. I'm okay with that. So I'm okay with this. I'll actually turn it just a little bit. Alright. Okay, I'm down. So Pretty much what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna just set up all my pineapples and stuff below, or up, uh, I gotta fix this, uh, up like below, uh, right behind my tub, excuse me. So we're gonna go ahead and like do something like this. And we're gonna cut this out because we don't want this. I'm pretty, I'm too zoomed in so you can't really see what I'm doing. All right, we're gonna cut this. Like it's, it was not pen tool out. That's why I'm kind of like pen tool out just a little bit. Uh, so it's not completely messy for you guys. And uh, get this cut out, oops. Make selection, cut that out. And now you guys are gonna have to, what the hell? There we go. You guys are probably gonna have to do this yourself unless I remember and like cut it out for you guys. But hey, there's no problems in pen tooling yourself and figuring things out. And I'm making cuts like very like, you know, fast and whatever. I'm just trying to make sure that things are not like have these really odd jagged little uh, things like, you know, little jagged edges. I'm gonna leave some of them because of course this is for tutorial and I wanna waste too much of your time. However, just make sure you know uh, quality is one of the best things in like design if you if anyone can see that you took the time to do something as simple as this but you know you might think it's not really worth it but it really makes a difference it's it's quality okay so make sure you please pen tool it out please don't follow my example I'm just like you know I'm erasing things and whatnot I would 100% if I was doing this for like you know my portfolio or whatever I'm doing it for a client um I would make sure that I have this stuff pen tooled out uh, correctly so just make sure that that is what this is one of those like followed by my my words not what I do kind of thing so yeah we're just trying to make sure we get this as okay as possible that's not in completely terrible all right so this is not completely terrible this is weird though like these little freckles and stuff so okay that's good uh, no it's not oh it's cut out here oh well that'll work okay so we're gonna drag this inside uh oh over here let's get rid of this line is this perfect now? Okay, it's good to go inside. So, bring this inside here, and we're gonna drop this, and we're gonna pretty much shrink this down a little bit. So I'm gonna hold shift, take my corner here. If I do not hold shift, you're gonna be guessing and messing up the actual like orientation and quality of the actual image. So please, when you do this, when you wanna scale something down, control T, 
I press control R, excuse me. Control T, hold shift, take a corner, and then shrink it. And then do not let go of shift, let go of your mouse, and then let go of shift so you don't actually mess it up and you're good to go. So make sure this is below, uh, or excuse me, above and up, like below, uh, excuse me, behind is what I'm trying to say, and then above the G Fuel tub. So that way it looks like it is also behind the tub itself. Now that is pretty good. We're okay with that. Now you can start seeing like stuff formulating and stuff like that. You can also tell that most likely the only reason why it looks super good is because of the color correction. So uh, that's pretty good to know. So that if you just if you start placing stuff down, it's not the end of the world. Um, we're gonna shrink this down and we're gonna give this that little like, boom. Ain't that cute? Like, come on, you can't look at that. Look, that's that's beautiful. Okay. Um. So yeah, that works for me. And now, right now, I'm at the moment where I'm just trying to make sure that everything looks according. So what I mean by that, I'm just looking. I'm looking at my pineapple here. And this one looks a little bit better, uh, excuse me, a little more duller, or more dull than this one. Uh, it doesn't look as juicy, okay? It doesn't look good enough. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to apply a brightness and contrast. So I'm going to go to my little adjustment tab here, which is a little half circle. You click on that, you go to brightness and contrast. Now, I'm not going to change the entire color correction of the entire uh, uh, little document we have here. I'm going to make sure I right click and clipping mask that. That way, it only gets applied to the actual layer that it's clipping mask to below it, which is the big pine that's located right here. So this way, I'm gonna actually just kind of juice it up a little bit by kind of like putting the brightness up, putting the contrast up a little bit more. And as you can see, if I just turn this on and off, it just looks a little more juicy. It looks a little more more pleasing. Uh, I don't want to make it incredibly bright, like artificially bright, but I want it to look a little better. Like to try, I'm trying to match these two. Now you can argue and say that this is a little dull as well. So what I can do is I'll just drag another um, brightness and contrast. Oops, I can just make a duplicate if I want. Control J, drag it in here put it in there and try to match these two. Uh, right there is pretty good. So I'll call that, I'll call that pretty even right there. So I'm okay with this. All right, sweet. So what I'm actually gonna do right now is I'm gonna go ahead and just apply, like, I'm gonna fill a little more space. Now what I did before is I took this little slice here and I went ahead, if you wanna see it here, I took the little slice here and applied it like right here. It's actually, the, oh, this one got hidden, but there's one right here, as you can see, that's a little slice. And I just blurred it out right here. There was one like right here. So I'm gonna do the same exact thing over, oops, over here again. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this little slice, place this a little smaller, give it a little, give a little turn that's not completely the same as this one because they are the same exact slices. And let's put that right there. We'll put one like over here. I'm gonna actually change the size. I'm gonna bring this one back in here to get the size back. Put like one over here. Okay. That's pretty good, right? And maybe like one up here and put this below this stuff, all of it. There we go, shrinking it down a little bit. And we're just gonna, we're just gonna like, just fill a little more space. Now, um, if this is not for you, that's fine. I'm not entirely sure about this one either, however. So I'm gonna actually maybe shrink it down. Maybe I didn't really want, maybe want it that big. Something like that. There we go. Okay, so what I'm gonna go ahead and do actually is bring everything below here because it really wouldn't matter and connect everything and then group it all together with Control G. That way it does this. Now I'm just gonna make a duplicate of this, Control J once again, and then Control E will merge together this group that I have here to make it one single layer. Now what it's gonna do with this layer is I'm gonna go to Filter, gonna go to Blur, I'm gonna go to Gaussian Blur, and I'm going to go ahead and change my radius to like two or three or four. Let's see where we go in here. We're gonna go at four, and we're just gonna leave that as is. Now, this is just a little more for filling space. It might even get covered in the future, but it, we want to make sure we have some space filled. Now, what I can also do at this time, we can actually apply a simple little focus light on the top, which is going to you know, brighten everything up a little bit, and also set up our color correction, and we'll be good to go in a few. So, we're going to go ahead and lower the opacity down a little bit, maybe to about 50% or so, and yeah. Now it's time to actually, you know, do a little color correction. Or we can do the, the two little things first as well. Yeah, we'll do that first. Why not? We'll go ahead and we will take, uh, where is it? These pineapple leaves here. Okay? We're going to take these. We're going to drag these inside the actual document we're working in. And we're going to go ahead and throw these something like this. Not, do I want to shrink it a little bit? Maybe the tiniest bit. Put that like over here and then apply another one over here. So what I did was I pressed alt and I just dragged it and it made a duplicate for me. And I'm going to go ahead and put that over like here. I don't want to cover the letters too much. 
So I'll make sure I put this below everything as well. Actually, besides, I'm going to put that above there. Okay. And that looks pretty good. Yep. I'm down. Maybe, like, fix this a little bit. Now, when you're doing this stuff, by the way, your your placements of, like, things should be, like, organized. For myself, I already have, like, a, I already did something already. Like, I already did this already. Um, so I kind of already know where I'm placing myself. So it kind of looks like I'm doing it all willy-nilly. However, it was done pretty well. And you can see my pineapple's a little different over here. I might fix that just because I know in the future of, like, this tutorial, I'm thinking of a head right now, right? Then I'm not going to like it so much. So I'm going to make sure I fix this now. Kind of give it that angle that I had. Right, and I also had this leaves behind this, so my thought is a little different now. So there we go. That'll work. And now I'm going to start applying some color corrections here. The first thing that I actually did was I applied a simple color curve. Um, so what this is, is just, I'm going to do a nice little simple S curve. And I mean simple, I mean very, very minuscule. So like a, like a very slim little S curve because we're going to, everything's getting really vibrant now. It's getting very like like too saturated. So what I thought of was I went ahead and put a nice little vibrance in here as well. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lower my saturation. Now this might seem awkward because it is kind of awkward. So I'm gonna lower the saturation. You're like, you know, you're getting rid of all of your color, but I'm not lowering it so much. I'm gonna lower it to about maybe like negative 15 and I'm gonna go ahead and put my vibrance up. Okay, do you see what's kind of going on here? We're kind of getting that like faded feel. You kind of see it, you kind of see it. I don't know if you see it. I don't know if you get it. You guys get it? It kind of like fades everything, but also in a way gives it all like a very simple, nice look to it. So with the vibrance, we can actually end it off with a simple uh, brightness and contrast. We'll go ahead, not too much. And do something like this. And we'll lower the opacity down the brightness and contrast a little bit. There we go. Okay. Now. When you have this here, you're also probably wondering why the hell this green is still looking like that. We're going to actually change this now. I'm going to rasterize my little triangle or my rectangle. Why do I keep saying triangle? My rectangle here and then change this color to having the same color as something like one of these little, uh, these things here. Let's see. Around there will look pretty good, I think. Okay. Press OK. Press OK again. And now everything looks a little weird right now. You can tell that it's a little, it looks a little different. So I'm going to also do... Is I'm also going to go ahead and apply a very simple, uh, just a little lights. I'm going to take a nice little orange from here. This is a pretty good orange. I just clicked in the inside of this pineapple. And with this little orange, I'm going to take a nice soft brush. I'm going to change my button mode now to linear dodge add because I already know. And I'm also going to lower my passive down a little bit to like 80%. And this is going to set me up. I can put a little light in some areas. Like, it kind of like makes things look a little more juicy in a, in a sense. You know what I mean? So you can see... That the light, oops, I didn't mean to open that. The light kind of uh, gets applied in certain areas. We'll just bring it over here. And you can see, like, right away, it's a pretty big difference. Like, it just applies a little more light, applies a little, it's a little more fun, okay? And so, with that being said, I'm actually going to go ahead and drag in this little, uh, this uh, texture here. So, with this texture, I'm actually going to apply this and put this uh, on soft light. We're going to lower this opacity down. And this is where it kind of gets all nice and stuff. So we're going to take this and put it about 40% or so. And you can argue we can make it, we can make a little adjustment. So I'll move it over a little bit so I can get rid of that really big splotchy spot. And move it over to here. This looks pretty dope. Okay, we're getting somewhere. And what I also did was, I don't know if yours already came with, uh, well, it's, if you got it from this, if you got new texture, but if you got the texture from the little PSD that I gave you, you have this little square box, which is a masking. A little square box which that that's kind of what I did right there uh, but if you're using your own texture do this as well if you guys don't have this little white box here make sure you select your layer click on this little uh, masking box it'll make a nice little uh, another white box for you and what's gonna happen is when you take your eraser or your brush depending on which one it is as you can see nothing's happening on this right now my brush is white and I'm clicking I'm like I'm clicking right now it's not erasing anything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna switch this to black and I'm still on my brush and I'm still selected on this little white part right here. And if you look here and look here as well, you'll see that this is actually getting erased. So I want to make sure there's no crazy texture going on on top of the tub. So I am, I'm, I'm erasing a little slightly around where the actual tub is. Now I'm also kind of not feeling this gray. I want to make it a little more lighter or a little darker. I'm not entirely sure what I want yet. So we're going to see a little lighter. Hell yeah. Perfect. Okay. Now I'm down with that. So. Um, a little different. It looks a little different right now because we haven't actually applied the cool little uh, 
this cool little part right here, right? We haven't applied this. And also have a little more light going on over here. And you can still do that just by using this little orange, right, that we had before. Uh, you can also just make another layer if you want to. Click on the orange, maybe make it a little more vibrant. Of course, it's going to be on Linear Dodge Add. And you can select again a little more, right, in the little spots. And then lower the pass a little bit more. So you can get more light if you need more light. If you want more light, please go ahead. All freaking go for it. Like, you know, let's see. I want over here. Maybe over here a little bit. Okay. Right there. I'm down. So I put a little more light somewhere. And also, I kind of want to make another layer with the same exact uh, same exact thing here. But I'm going to put it around the tub itself. There we go. Now, all these lights make a pretty big change, okay? So understanding that these lights are not just completely random. It's just to make the it's – it's trying to make the um, – the composition of this look a little more better and I also noticed that this is not completely there's a lot there's a lot so I, I would usually try to measure this out a little better with like a pen tool and like a line but this is okay for now now as well as this and I want to do this for you guys I want to show you guys how I did this little cool uh, this little thing right here going around so what I did was it was a, a cool little text effect that I did a while ago called the uh, glow tear effect so I'm gonna click on everything that I did so click on the first layer that you did Go all the way down to the bottom, click on the last layer, Control J is going to make a duplicate for you guys. Without clicking anything, go ahead and just press Control E. So you're pressing Control J and Control E, and what's going to do for you is going to make an entire layer of what you just did, right? And this is what you want, because what you're going to do is you're going to press W on your keyboard. It's going to bring up the magic wand tool. Now, this is the purpose of, it's like the little effect, right? So this is a little, this is a little odd if you don't really do this, but I'm going to click, and I'm also going to lower my tolerance or up my tolerance. Let's see, 60. No, we're going to lower it to like 25. Okay, perfect. I'm going to click a couple times. I'm holding shift, by the way. Put like like right here. More like right here. We'll click on these little things as well a little bit. Look on like a couple of these. And you're just like, where you're clicking is where you want to apply the effect. So if you want to put something, like if you want to put the effect somewhere, just go ahead and control alt Z, go back and figure it out. But once you have stuff selected, I selected mine at random, completely random. It doesn't really matter to me. However, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to press M on my keyboard, which is bringing up the rectangle marquee tool. That gives me the actual option when I right click to a layer via cut. Now, what this is going to do is layer via cut is going to basically only give us what we just selected. So if I just kind of move this, you can kind of see it only gives us what we selected. Um, so yeah, once we have this, we're going to go ahead and double click on this and go to inner glow. And we're going to go ahead as well and put this blend mode to maybe overlay. Yes, overlay looks good. We're going to lower the opacity down just a little bit. And we're also going to lower the fill down to about zero or maybe not so much maybe like maybe like 75 because this is also going to be we're going to put like a nice little uh a nice pineapple in the background a nice pineapple in the background so i'm actually going to take this pineapple really quick and put it in the background and the reason why i did that i'm just going to put it above it really quickly i'm gonna make it pretty big to see where i want it i want it like right here kind of filling more space again. And also, I know it's it looks disgusting in the quality, but it doesn't matter for me because I'm gonna also just go ahead and blur it out anyway. So, just about there. And then what this effect does, and the reason why I put my fill not all the way down to zero, but around 80%, is because it gives you like kind of like, uh, it kind of gives you like a nice background, like a secondary background. So I'm gonna take this pineapple, throw it all the way down here, even like behind like the foliage. There we go. Right, so you can see the pineapple leaves are over here, and they're also here. I'm just gonna take my opacity down, and not change the blend mode or anything. Just lower the opacity down just a little bit, maybe to about 40%. And as you can see, it looks pretty damn nice. You got the pineapple background here, here. It's just filling more space. Now the um, effect that I did here, it's kind of bothered me over here. So I'm actually gonna take my eraser, my software eraser, and kind of erase around here, just so that I don't want it looking too awkward. It looks okay over here. It just looked over, like a little bit weird over there and kind of over here as well. So yeah, now this is okay for me. Now the last thing I want to do, I don't know why I saved it to last, but it doesn't really matter too much. I'm actually gonna put a little bit of a shadow going on here. So I'm making a new layer below my tub. Now this is gonna go ahead and do is gonna be our shadow. Now you want to use drop shadow because the drop shadow is gonna give you a, a like a kind of like a an outline around everything. So you kind of want to do this manually. The way I do it, it's kind of weird, but you know at the same point, it doesn't really matter too much. You just want to make sure you got a little shadow going on so that your stuff is not floating. So I use an elliptical tool, elliptical marquee tool. I'm going to make a nice little circle right about here. And now if you guys did not know, 
um, when I did my last live stream, we actually had a dope talk about how uh, drop shots and stuff work. Um, for now, I'm gonna make it like black, okay? Just so you guys know. I'm gonna fill that in with black as well. Um, let me see here. My light is like really, really heavy. It's okay. Filter, blur, Gaussian blur. We're gonna blur it around 4%, That's or four pixels, that's pretty good. Now, what I'm worried about is the fact that the reason why I saved it till last is kind of awkward because I have a lot of stuff in front of this, but it's okay. Can I actually take this and drag it down here somewhere, like below this? How would that look? It still looks pretty good. Yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Ooh, that looks pretty cool on the overlay itself, overall. It looks a little weird because it's below the uh, color correction. I think I want to keep it in the same spot. Just bear with me. I guess this is okay. The it's, this, the, uh, the the drop shadow is still there. I'm gonna lower my pass down just a little bit. So all I did was kind of like take a blur. I took a uh, elliptical tool, and now we have a drop shadow right here as well. It looks a little weird because the uh, little effect that I have here is in front of it. But in reality, it's still it's still a okay. Like it's not too bad. I can lower this opacity down just a little bit more to give it show a little bit more, and that's okay as well. Fix prop problem freaking solved. Okay, there we go. So now I'm gonna go to this big pineapple here which is not this one, it's this one, yes it is. Okay, so I'm gonna make a layer below this one, and now I have a layer below here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a brush this time, a nice simple uh, small brush here. I'm just gonna go ahead and just kinda like fill some space here. <laughs> Literally that's all I'm gonna do, okay? I'm gonna lower my opacity down. However, black looks a little difficult, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and click and go to color overlay, and select the yellow that I have here, and just make this like around here and it kind of gives a little more like balance so this is not black but over here it looks pretty black but it's obviously not black and that's what I mean by the whole drop shadow talk it looks a little bit better than this than that so we got to change this one as well because I didn't do that already we're gonna go here go to color overlay we're right, gonna select this yellow we have going on here whatever color scheme you got and kind of like balance it a little bit so we're gonna get this nice ugly I said nice but it's kind of an ugly mustard color press ok and of course last but not least is this little pineapple over here which is perfect pineapple Drake, take this layer, and we're going to make a nice little thing here, and we're going to go ahead and throw it right there. And I'm holding shift when I do this, so I'm making a straight line. This is pretty good. Kind of blur it out just a little bit more. And literally, that looks pretty good itself, but I also got to change this to make sure it kind of blends better. So select the yellow, and get this little mustardy yellow going on here. And pretty much, we're pretty much almost done. Now, what I'm not entirely sure is... If I want this effect around my my text here, like I kind of want to make sure it's, it's kind of clean, cleaned out white. It kind of. Mm. Let's see here. Can I can I can like I can literally just take my text actually and just throw it in front of it, like in front of everything. Let's see if that works. Uh, it's. Mm. It doesn't make a complete difference. I don't know. I just didn't really like the effect that's around my, my text. I should have watched out for that last time. But if I erase it now, it's going to look really awkward. So for now, that's I'm going to have to like, deal with that. But last but not least, I'm going to take a nice little final layer and see if I want to put a little bit of more focus light in different spots. So I'm going to put some, like not on the top, however, because we already have a focus light on the top. We did that before, right? So I'm going to take a couple lights and throw them in a little more areas, kind of like in this like little zigzag formation, right? Get a little light going on here. And then we're just going to lower the opacity down. And we're pretty much going to call it here. As you can see, it looks pretty damn close to my actual final, which is I'm pretty happy with. So whatever happens now is all really up to you. Like, you can literally, like, have fun with, like, brushes and stuff. I actually did do that, however. I actually took a brush. Where's the, um, this rectangle here? What I did was I took an eraser, and I used one of my eraser brush stocks. Or my brush stock, but in the sense of an eraser. And I took an eraser and kind of, like gave this little box a little life with my eraser here. So that's what I did do. Maybe something like that. Make it a little more smaller maybe. Something like this, right? And I gave my little my little top bar a little life. Now, up to this point like this like I said you can do really anything you want. Like I'm going to see what happens if I try to like put this here. How would this look? Yo, that doesn't look bad. You, you know what I mean? You, you want to fill more space or whatever you want to try to do. That does look terrible, but it, it really doesn't fit too much with the concept I have going on here. But you know what I mean? Just try to fill more space if you feel like it. However, if you like this, you know, call it a day. Like, this is perfectly fine for you. Thank you guys so much for freaking watching. I'm pretty I'm pretty happy. How the, I'm pretty satisfied how this came out. 
Um, straight up, guys. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support. I'm I'm pretty sure we're we're on the track of hitting 60k by the end of this month. I'm incredibly happy. Thank you guys so freaking much. Don't forget to leave a like. 200 likes on the video equals a secret down below. Share the video. Whatever the hell you want to do. Tell people about me because I'm here to stay. Okay. And uh, just straight up, like, I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm, I'm really excited to freaking post this one, okay? And, of course, if you guys have not yet to check out my top three series, please go check it out. It's called Top 3 Designs of the Week, where I take uh, three different designs of, like, maybe, like, 90-plus submissions. And then they'll give you guys some spotlight. So it's a pretty dope series to get some exposure and stuff like that. Have other people critique, uh, critique your work or even, like, me say some nice things about your work and, like, say some negative things about your work that, you know, you can fix or apply yourself to. So please go check out that as well. It'll be on my channel. You'll see, like, we're up to four weeks right now. We're on week five currently. So you can still submit for, uh, to week five until Thursday. And it's kind of a rinse and repeat kind of thing. So please go freaking submit on that. Uh, please do not forget to subscribe to me if you haven't already. Uh, check out my Twitter, at SysOHQ, to, like, give, you know, maybe you want to tweet me something. Who knows? Or want to follow me just because you want to you want to follow me. And, of course, do not forget to check out my Selfie, Selfie.com slash SysOHQ for any premiums and packs. It's always three bucks. Right now, my freaking current, like, beast pack where I have over 675 people who purchased it already are uh, the Everything Pack, where you get everything in my store for one price of $30. And then everything that comes out from my store gets actually emailed to you for free. So it's a pretty dope purchase. Thank you guys so much again. Talk to you guys later. Sensei, you out. Peace. And have a freaking awesome day, all right?